Well, good morning this Tuesday morning. Uh, welcome from me, Goff, to our Kings at Home Daily. Uh, second day of our week of prayer. And uh, hopefully you've got your little card, which tells us that we're praying today for City West, our uh, congregation over City West, and for families and for European church planting. So we um, can be thinking there of, well, you've got, the, you've got the prayer sheet coming through. You can follow those things through. But uh, as, yes, as I said yesterday, I'm going to give you some top tips to help you in your praying. And um, this, my, my tip for this morning is to use scripture. Use the prayers in here. They can really, really help you. Um, so let's pray and then we'll jump in. Lord, we, we, we want, to, we, we want to, 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 to do well this week, Lord. We want to grow in our praying um, and really engage together. Uh, Lord, you know it's a, it's a needy time in, in the nation and across the world. And so we, 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 we need your help. So please help us as we pray this week. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so um, yesterday's top tip was uh, to remember who we are. The words of Jesus when he was baptised. Uh, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And we saw that in Romans chapter 1, Paul speaks of the Christians at Rome who we'd never met as uh, beloved of God. Isn't that beautiful? That's the grace of God. So when he started off, beloved, oh, well, this is who I am. That was yesterday. So what about today? Well, today, is, as I say, use scripture the prayers in scripture and of course the, there's a great big prayer book right in the middle book of psalms um which can really really help you and, and uh, maybe you don't uh, you do this too much but i want to encourage you to, to 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 read it out loud you know it's part of your 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 this is this is part of your of your prayer okay uh, it's not just a prelude it's part of your prayer in fact, let me give you a little thing. I might talk about this a bit more tomorrow to, to remember you, it, it, sort of the components of prayer. Acts. Let's see if I can remember. A. Adoration. C. Confession. Lord, you know, well, we'll talk about it. Conf A. C. Confession. T. Thanksgiving. A. C. T. S. Supplication making our asks i'll probably come back to that tomorrow so so it's not you know it, it's it this is part of our prayer okay um so uh if, to open up the psalms so for instance I, i've got psalm 95 open now you might want to turn there i'm going to use psalm 95 this is part of my prayer and pray out speak it out loud why not you know um it just i don't know for me it makes it more real if i do that um, it's probably more useful if I'm on my own. <laughs> and I can, uh, but uh, you just to come up here and, and just speak it out. Apart from the else keeps me awake. Part, you know, but we mumble. So, no, no, you know. So if I, if I start reading Psalm, 9, Psalm 95, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Yes, Lord, that's what I want to do this morning. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation lord oh you are good and you 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 don't just like me you you i'm beloved of you speak it out come let's come before him with thanksgiving yeah and extol him with music and song so use this you know there's a bit of a progression actually in this psalm as you'll see verse six come let's bow down in worship there's this sense you know we've perhaps he's perhaps david the psalmist started shouting out maybe he was dancing a jig or whatever he was just lord thank you and but then he's sort of perhaps overwhelmed oh and he's, he's on his knees lord <laughs> you're amazing come let's bow down in worship let's kneel before our maker today if you would hear his voice don't harden your hearts don't harden your hearts. Lord, give me a soft heart today. So use the prayers of Scripture. Um, and, and, you know, you can have your prayer card there and you can be praying, uh, you know, enjoying the Lord and say, Lord, I want to bring some things before you this, today. And uh, I, of course, the other prayer that we use a lot is the Lord's Prayer. We talked about that not so long ago. I, I use that as a pattern for prayer quite often, you know, um, 
Father in heaven, that's where you start with the beloved. Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Whoa, Lord, you are amazing. You're, now, this is a great line in your prayer. Your kingdom come. I, I use that a lot. Your kingdom come. In other words, Lord, you know, we can pray that, Lord, I want to see your, your reign come. That's what it means. I want to see your reign come in this situation and that situation. We've got families on the list here. Lord, in families around the church and beyond, your kingdom come in, in families. Your, your, your presence, your rule, your reign. It's a great line. I use that one a lot. I linger there a lot and pray about all sorts of situations. Lord, your kingdom come there. Your presence, your kingly reign in that home, in that family, in my home, in my family. Um, your kingdom come, your will be done. Lord, do you see what I'm saying? It's a great pattern from uh, that we can use. Uh, I don't always get all the way through, but it's, it's, use the, bar, the prayers in the Bible. If, if you're struggling a bit, that there's some great prayers to say. The Psalms, the Lord's Prayer, um, and, and, and many others. Um, that prayer, we that, well, you could say it's a prayer that we've been looking at last week in Colossians, just in, and in our adoration. Oh, Lord, Lord Jesus, you are amazing. You're the image of the invisible God. Oh, well, you know, you, you we pray, use scripture, okay? Um, it's often a, stronger than our mumblings, and it, it can also fire, help us in the way that we pray. So that's my my tip for you today to, to use scripture um, and don't be afraid to use, say, you might want to use Psalm 95 to get you underway uh, or the Lord's Prayer. But um, if you're running, you know, it, it can help you. Otherwise, you, you can run out, you can run dry pretty quickly. But scripture is uh, wonderfully helpful in finding the language of prayer. And as I say, out loud, why not? Um, I mean, you know that up until... I don't know when, it's fairly recent, reading out loud was the common thing. People would, even when they're on their own, read out loud. It'd be a bit annoying on a train all doing that, wouldn't it? But, but you know, um, I think it, it, it externalises and it makes it real and it helps. So, uh, out loud, use scripture, the prayers in scripture, that should help you. Lord, I pray, would you help us today? I pray there'll be much good, strong... <laughs> Effective prayer going on around church family today for your glory, Lord Jesus. I ask it in your name. Amen. Okay, uh, have a good day and uh, maybe you'll join me for another little tip tomorrow morning. Bye now.